Welcome to Real Reviews. This week we have Lego Movie 2. Yeah. Parents love when we do these movies. Yeah. I don't know why. The animated movies. Gotta know what, uh, what's right for those kids out there, I guess. Yeah. I'll say the Lego Movie 2 is right for kids. Yeah. But not, not right, right for, for adults. adults. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the same page. Okay. I feel... Man, there was just a really an oversaturation of Lego movies. The first Lego movie, everything was awesome. Even that <laughs> one, I was like, okay, it's all right. Like, I chuckled a lot in that one. And I, I had some giggle moments in this, but it just wasn't funny. I found, I was really bored. I was, I was very just bored like, in it. what is going on? I couldn't wait for it to wrap up. The overlying story, uh, there's kind of like a time jump, if you will. It's, it takes place, the, the Lego community downstairs that this boy built with Will Ferrell, the dad, because yeah. he was the bad guy in the first one. Well, because he's, Will Ferrell says, because you're allowed to play down here, I'm going to let your, your sister play down here too. <gasps> Gasp. So then it shows Lego World getting smashed to bits. And then there's a time jump five years later, and essentially everything Lego down in the basement is a wasteland. You don't want to rebuild it because the sister come to, comes down and breaks it. So the over like lying story about brother and sister getting along, who cares? But they but they tried <laughs> to make cares? it like the first one, like it was some yeah. kind of secret. Yeah. And you're like, we're not idiots. We saw the first one. Yeah, that that was what was fun about the the first one. <laughs> oh, it has to do with real life. You yeah. Know? That was kind of funny. That was yeah. clever. It's not as clever the second time around. No. Just like the, you know, maybe it was because it's the first time seeing it. The the quirky fun references yeah not as fun the second time around no and there was not as many the second time around you no. know i was i was bored for most of it i was extremely disappointed by this movie like i didn't find it funny at all and it could have been a lot cooler because chris pratt you know he has jurassic world like under his belt so they they bring in some dinosaurs uh he's done guardians of the galaxy they kind of like dabble on that but man, like, there's, there's a chance where, like, he could have had so many, like, awesome characters and then just done all the voices for all of his, like, alter egos. Oh, yeah. And they just kind of dropped the ball. And, like, the, the one, uh, you know, guy that they do introduce, this, his story was so over the top and so out there that it didn't make sense. Overall, the, the message to ch kids is... Uh Play nice with play your nice. siblings, play nice, <laughs> yeah. is the overall message. But bring me, like, Lego Batman and Lego Ninjago are far superior products to both of these. Especially Which is Lego surprising, because this is Lego the I know, movie, this right? is a whole universe you have to play with, not something so specific. Yeah. But Lego, I thought Lego Batman is so much better than this. Maybe it's because I'm a Batman fan, but yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know anything about Ninjago when I saw it. I'm like, I said, that was a funny movie. <laughs> right. You know, that was a good movie, Lego Ninjago. These just straight up Lego movies. I, I've had enough. I don't. I don't need to see another one. I didn't think this was clever, witty, anything like that. It's true. They sing a song. Everything's not awesome, and that is the case with this movie. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. Five out of ten. I'm gonna give it a four out of ten. Recycled jokes. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know how we roll. Yeah. We don't like them. <laughs> Unless they're funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> then we're hypocrites. Uh, like I said, it's a good message for your kids. They're gonna like all the. Bright Lego and the fun things. It's it's tailor made for young kids, but adults, uh, yeah, you're probably gonna be bored. Yeah. I would say, uh, go check out our Facebook page and find out how you can win a thirty dollar gift certificate to Perkins Restaurant and Bakery, where you can go to Perkins every week and check out their new menu items.